I'm going to try to explain what I did for the Schrodinger wave equation. I first wrote down the functional forms, and I wrote down the same equation for regions 1 and 3, because we know they're the same, they're both at infinite potential. Um, then I wrote a different one for the second region, and for the first and third region, we know that uh, potential is infinite, so that means that uh, the we know that psi 1 or 3 has to be equal to 0, and for the second one, we know that the potential is 0, so psi 2 is going to be uh, the sinusoid, which is a sine kx plus b cos kx. Um, we don't know what a and k are yet. So we can set psi 1 of 0 to psi 2 of 0 and psi 2 of a to psi 3 of a um, because it's a continuous function. And uh, we can get that um, since a sine 0 plus b sine b cos 0 equals 0 for we get that from the second one, um, psi 2 of a equals to psi 3 of a. We know that b is equal to 0. Uh, since cosine of 0 is equal to 1, b has to be equal to 0. And then we can get that psi is equal to a sine kx, which is equal to 0. And psi of 2 at a would be equal to uh, a sine ka equals 0. And ka has to be equal to an integer multiple of pi for that whole thing to be 0. So we get k is equal to n pi over a. Um, and then we have psi 2 is equal to a sine n pi over a x. Uh, and then we can plug that back in to the Schrodinger wave equation, h bar squared over 2m, uh, partial de derivative, um, the second partial derivative of a sine n pi over a x plus 0, because the potential is 0, is equal to e a sine n pi a over x. And then um, we can take the derivative of, um, get the derivative out of there, so we get h bar squared over 2m, n pi over a, that whole thing is squared, times a, negative a sine n pi a over ax, and we get that by doing the chain rule, um, and that's all equal to e a sine n pi over ax. And when you divide both sides by a sine n pi over a x, you get e is equal to h bar squared n squared pi squared over 2 m a squared. Um, and then we can set up the integral. You know that the, uh, the probability from negative infinity to infinity is equal to uh, 1, and that's also equal to psi psi star. So we can get that, uh, the, since we know that the probability is all within region 2, we know from 0 to a, the integral from 0 to a of a squared sine squared m pi a over x dx is equal to 1. Um, then we can use a trigonometry identity to get integral of 8 from 0 to a of a squared times 1 half times 1 minus cosine of m pi a x uh, dx is still equal to 1. We can take out the constants of a squared and one half, so we get a squared one half, a squared over two of the integral of, from zero to a of one minus cosine of two n pi over a dx, still equal to one. And once we take the integral, we get a squared over two a minus a squared over two times zero uh, minus um, a squared over two times one half sine two n pi over a uh, from zero to a, and then we'll get a squared over two times a minus zero because sine two n pi over a times a is zero, and sine two n pi over a x when x is zero is zero. Uh, so we get a squared over two a is equal to one. And we get a squared is equal to 2 over a, a is equal to root 2 over a. So we can plug that back into psi, getting root 2 over a uh, sine n pi over a x. Thanks.